we are participating in a U.S.-Israel bilateral military exercise uh, called Juniper Oak 23.2. Juniper Oak offers opportunities to strengthen integration of land, air, and sea-based systems. It also offers us a great opportunity to build and develop relationships with our partner nations. We have pretty close ties with the Israelis. I think that getting the opportunity to finally work together, um, getting to know each other's customs a little bit and how we operate. Um, if there is a future need for us to have to incorporate military forces, I think it's going to help it make a more fluid transition. Today, we continue to train, develop capabilities, and work to increase the IDF arenas and the areas operation in routine and in emergencies. We're working side by side with our Israeli counterparts here, uh, and really with other regional partners over the longer term, uh, that's gonna uh, ensure that we can defend our forces, defend our partner nation forces, and others who are in the uh, coalition. It's really part of integrating Israel into the CENTCOM AOR, uh, and again, building that partnership in depth and breadth. But the main reason is to really know each other better, to prepare ourselves uh, for the future to come. Interoperability between the United States and Israel enhances the overall architecture of integrated defense, and to oppose the stabilizing forces in the Middle East. And that uh, collective approach that we take here, it allows us to deter threats. And then over the longer term, we know that this is one of the places where uh, strategic competition happens on a day in and day out basis. The central region is central to strategic competition, whether that's against Russia or against the Chinese. We're here and we're here to stay.